Uh, my name's Randy, Randall Boys, and I'm going to be talking to you about uh, a package that I've been working on called Tidier Plots. Uh, just who am I first? Uh, <laughs> I'm an epidemiologist by training uh, from Canada. I work for a company called Brassage Group. We work with uh, airlines doing analytics mostly. Um, I mentioned my dogs in my bio, so I thought I'd better show you pictures of them. These are the three of them here. Uh, just in case anyone is not an R user, um, the Tidyverse is the inspiration for these, this set of packages that uh, Tidyer Pods belongs to. Uh, I would say it's the best, maybe the only reason to still consider using R over Julia. Uh, it's a comprehensive, connected set of packages that you can use for importing, changing, wrangling, visualizing your data. Uh, and Tidyer.jl, the, the overall set of uh, Julia packages uh, that this belongs to is trying to be a drop-in replacement uh, for that set of R packages uh, that's written completely in Julia. Um, so far, um, I haven't written all these, but the, the group has written uh, replacements for dplyr and tidyr, which are for um, rectangling and uh, modifying your data. Tidier files to read in data, uh, Tidier DB to um, translate your code into database queries, um, string manipulation and Tidier strings, um, categor categorical data handling with uh, Tidier cats, uh, natural language processing, and we've got more coming. Um, so it's <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. Uh, I'm just going to focus in on tidier plots, which is the Julia re-implementation re of ggplot. ggplot is part of the tidyverse in a way, but it's also sort of its own little thing. It was written before a lot of the other uh, packages that became the tidyverse, and it's uh, a little bit self-contained. It's uh, its own, own language uh, for data visualization based on the grammar of graphics. Uh, if you're not f familiar with what that kind of looks like, uh, it's um, it, this is our code up here. Uh, we call our ggplot function. We feed it data, uh, a mapping of aesthetics uh, from the columns in our data frame to the, um, the features of the plot that we want uh, to represent the data with. Feed it a geome, and we get a plot that looks something like this. And you can build up plots um, by adding more and more elements to your ggplot. You add on geome line here, and I get lines that connect to my, uh, my uh, points. Uh, you can add basically anything to build up your plot. So here you add a theme, and it changes the whole look of the plot. That's the general idea of how uh, ggplot works. And um, importantly, it, it kind of handles a lot of the defaults for you. It, it, you can see the, the lines picked up that the color should be a grouping aesthetic, and so it, it kind of handles a lot of this stuff kind of in the background for you. Uh, and if you pass like uh, your aesthetic mapping to the ggplot, then that translates all into your, uh, your various geomes, your various um, mapping. So it's kind of nice to work with. Um, and I thought to myself, how hard can this be to write this? in Julia. And so I want to walk you through my first pass at, uh, at implementing it at my, f my very first working product uh, that uh, did something that resembled ggplot. It's about 100 lines of Julia. Um, basically, uh, I defined a couple structs, uh, the ggplot overall, uh, and the um, uh, and a geom struct uh, to hold kind of the pieces that we needed. Um, you define uh, what it means to add a ggplot to a geome. Basically, we'll take all of those geomes and just ram them in, inside the ggplot. Um, wrote something to pull out the, uh, the pieces that people had specified inside uh, an AES call, the aesthetics, and uh, outside the AES call, so um, the arguments, or the options, shall we say, to ggplot. A um, couple of macros that took those expressions and uh, made the geome objects. 
uh, a function that converted uh, geomes into layers. So these are algebra of graphics layers. Um, basically just going through all of the pieces that were in the ggplot and multiplying them in <laughs> uh, one at a time uh, to make the uh, to make an algebra of graphics layer. Um, and then a little bit of logic to inherit um, from our ggplot into our geomes if the geomes didn't have anything specified. Uh, that's it. And it works. Uh, <laughs> So you get something that looks quite a lot like ggplot here, right? You, um, you have our macro of ggplot, uh, arguments that look a lot like how the ggplot syntax works and the ability to add our plots and uh, add geom point, add to geom smooth, pass arguments, everything that kind of forms the basis of, of our plot uh, just kind of comes out for free with those 100 or so lines of Julia code. So taking this initial success. I was, I was very excited. I was like, wow, that's, that's so simple. How <laughs> um, this is going to be easy. <laughs> um, it was less easy than I thought. Um, but we've j taken that general structure um, and uh, dropped the, I realized I didn't really need them to be macros. I, added a lot more uh, geomes and I added a lot more uh, options and such, but we now have essentially a working copy of ggplot that looks almost identical to the, uh, to the R ggplot syntax. The only exception being <clears throat> you got to use symbols when you refer to columns, which honestly, uh, maybe I'm biased since I wrote the package, but I think it's better. It's new and improved ggplot. Um, so that that structure that I had, those hundred lines of GG block or hundred lines of Julia code, that that's essentially still how the package works, just with a lot of extra <laughs> conditionals on it. Uh, it's still just a set of structs com corresponding to the ggplot concepts. It's functions that look like the ggplot functions that generate those structs, definitions for the operators, and uh, instead of translating it into algebra of graphics, I'd now go directly to the uh, Mackey's uh, spec API. So, Randall, sorry to interrupt you. We will have to cut it here. Oh, sorry. And maybe uh, apologies for that. If you have any questions, you can reach him yeah. uh, afterwards. Sorry. Uh, okay, so yeah. this is what it looks like. It's got all the options. You can generate a plot that looks like this. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>